Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out the Audict Master Solo Woodwinds Bundle. This is for contact full version. It includes a flute, piccolo, oboe, clarinet, and bassoon. All of the solo woodwinds. So before we get started checking this one out, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And of course, hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, so I'm going to show you some of the sounds and articulations of the Audict Solo Master Woodwinds bundle, Master Solo Woodwinds. Um, so as you can see, we have bassoon, clarinet, flute, oboe, and piccolo, as I mentioned. First, we're going to check out, I guess, legato. So that was just a quick run through of the dynamic range there. Start off very softly. You can watch right here as I control that. It's pretty dry. It's really nice legato. Um, it, it does have some room sound to it, but there's no real reverb tail to it. So I'll turn that back up. That's a nice kind of natural room reverb to tie it all together. Uh, so again, here's a legato. It's a really nice legato. Can do nice fast as well as a little bit slow and lyrical. You can also hear some key noises there. There's even a separate articulation just for key noises to kind of add that extra realism. Have flutter tongue. We have sustains here with and without vibrato. Trills. So, okay, so that's interesting. I didn't know exactly how the trills work. I'm playing two keys at once and it's trilling between those two. So there's actually a pretty nice uh, interval range that you can have trills between, for instance, like this. So half, whole, to the third, fourth. That's a pretty nice range for trills. I'll be honest, I'm kind of surprised at that. That's really cool. Uh, we heard the... Uh, Flutter tongue, triple tongue. Very fast multi tongue note staccato here. Staccatissimo, shorter than staccato. And then the key noises there. Let's check out uh, 
another one of the instruments. Do like clarinet and oboe. Go check out some of the mic positions here. So this is the spot. So the spot's gonna be the closest one. Looks like they have three different spots there. So this is the spot ribbon. Let's go to close pair here. A much wider stereo image than just the spot. I could immediately notice that. Still nice, kind of close. Again, turn the reverb down and we get a much more dry signal. It's a great quality kind of studio sound. Stage. Again, pretty dry. So very easy to use this in both a studio and an orchestral setting with those mic positions. They offer a lot of control over the sound there, and along with the built-in reverb. And of course, room is going to be the most distant one. On to the oboe. Really nice airy tone with the lower velocities or lower dynamics. Let's go to the close pair in the spot. And then we can get a more sort of orchestral, spacious sound with the stage. Again, great trill range. the close pair turn down the reverb again great for, uh, versatility here for studio and orchestral compositions
Flutter tongue. And then finally, the piccolo. I hesitated to even show this one. Piccolo by itself is not my favorite instrument to listen to, but let's check it out. Very shrill sound, but that's... Sounds like a piccolo. I think my favorite instruments here, uh, the flute is, flute is amazing. Oboe is very good. Um, clarinet, I say that's third, right under the flute and oboe, and the bassoon and piccolo. More piccolo, especially. There's a little bit more key noises in there, a little bit more noise in the samples themselves. And the bassoon, it's got the bassoon's got a great tone, but the legato I think is best on flute, oboe, and clarinet. You heard it for yourself, so you can be the judge. So that was a quick listen and look at the master solo woodwinds bundle from Audict. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I will see you next time.